Hello everyone, I am Marina Bronzetti, Copernicus General Coordinator, and I'm here today to guide you through the five-day program of Copernicus Global Round for Physics and Astronomy in Nature Science Olympiad. First of all, I want to congratulate all of you that have taken the preliminary round. All students that have achieved over 40% are invited to join Global Round. Also, the top student of each category worldwide will come to Global Round with the registration fee covered by Copernicus. So let's go through the program because I know you are anxious to know everything that we will be doing during these days. The program will take place in Houston from January 9th to January 13th. On January 9th is the day where students from all over the world are coming to Houston. You can arrive at any time on January 9. We do understand that there are countries that the trip can take a long time. So at this day is the day that all students will arrive. You must arrive at any time on January 9. First thing, Copernicus team will be picking you up at the airport. There are two main airports. You can choose the most convenient for you. Copernicus will have teams picking up students all day long at these two airports okay 10 days previously you will need to tell us the exact time you are arriving and we will tell the time of the pickup the airport we are going to the hotel all delegations will be staying at double tree by hilton it's a hotel very close to galeria mall very comfortable hotel but my favorite part is the welcoming american cookie that we will receive in our arrival at the hotel, registrations will take place. So students will register, they will get their badge, their gifts, and they will understand more about the whole program and rules. At this day, we will also have the supervisor meeting and some gathering activities so you can start making friendships already at the first day. So day one, arrivals. Day two, January 10, the fun begins. We start the day with the opening ceremony, a moment for us to is the opening of the Olympiad. During this award, all will come to the stage with their flags representing their countries. From the opening ceremony, we are heading to Rice University where you can feel the atmosphere of an American college and we will be walking to Herman Park. After that, we are going to Houston Nature and Science Museum, where history comes to life. You will be able to see dinosaur bones. It's a huge, huge museum. There are four floors. All these pictures from these presentations are from the previous round. Okay, so these were taken by students. After Nature Science Museum, in the evening, we will have the Dinner of Nation. It's a moment where you can trade souvenir and get to know better your colleagues. And during the Dinner of Nation, we will have a talent show. So it's the time for you to perform your talent. You can sing, you can dance, you can play, you can perform anything you would like. Time for you to showcase your talent. We will love to see you performing and hope you feel comfortable about that. Finishing the second day, January 10, on January 11. This is one of the most expected days. We are going to NASA and there you will be able to see engineering workings. You will see the rockets and even touch the moon. Yes, I have touched the moon that last time I was there. There is a piece of the moon so you can touch the moon there. In the evening, we will have the study session. I need to tell that this is the touch the moon moment for me. One of my favorite moments of the competition. Students from different countries will be together teaching and learning from each other. These pictures are from our last event and this is not a mandatory program. And students were really, really engaged and anxious about that. It's amazing. So. Starting our next day, January 12, it's time for the exam. Yeah, as you register to take the global round exam. So students will be taking the exam. 
after we will have some fun so we will have a workshop where you're going to build uh, rockets and we are going to launch them from there we are going to humble observatory you will be able to use these huge telescopes to know even more about our amazing universe finishing january 12th our last day january 13th we start a day with the award ceremony moment to recognize and celebrate recognize all students joining you student have decided to invest in your future by taking the preliminary round by joining the global round so we really need to recognize it's a moment full full of emotion and the awards our global round medals are the most beautiful of all of them i have one with me i have a hard time to work with that beside me because sometimes i get distracted because this part rotates and i can have some fun with that so this is our global round medals 10 percent of the students the top 10 percent will be receiving the gold award the next 20 silver the next 30 bronze and we also have special awards for the top three students of each category these awards are apple watch ipad oculus quest and macbook air so for the three categories of physics and astronomy and for the five categories of natural science after the award ceremony it's time to go back to the airport some students are going back home some students have the option of taking an astro tour i will go through the astro tours in just one minute let's go for copernicus cost so as i told you the top student of each category so eight students they will receive full scholarship in registration fee the regular registration fee for this program is 1600 for students students that have received gold award they have 10 percent discount and students that have received silver award they have five percent discounts guests the cost is 1400 and guests will be joining the full program okay even during the exam time while the students go to one classroom to have the exam guests will go to another classroom to have a lecture so the whole program is for students and guests what is included in this cost is a four night accommodation transfer during the program so arriving on january 9 and going to the airport on january 13 and all the program in between the transportation is included two meals per day breakfast and one more meal depending on the program all the entry tickets for the attractions for the students participation in the olympiad certificate awards and medals for the winners what is not included in the price is the air ticket fare visa costs personal expenses and one meal per day the hotel is very close to the shopping mall and it's super simple to order food in us we have students coming from so many different countries that have so many different cultures so it's important to have one free meal where you can order the food or get the food that you prefer another topic and i think the one we received the most questions from you guys it's about us visa so to come to us most countries need to get us visa and the process is very very similar in all countries the difference is normally the waiting time to get the interview so sometimes maybe you will not be able to get the interview before the global round but having copernicus invitational letter it's possible to request an expedite visa interview you can request urgence in your interview and you can have it before the global round so the steps to get the invitational letter you need first to register at copernicus olympiad you need to pay your registration fee and copernicus will be sending you the invitational letter this is also a request from the embassy they only want us to provide the invitational letters for the students that are really committed in coming and this will help you with the process because it will prove that you have your costs covered during the program the accommodations two meals a day the tours you're going to make okay. so this is to book the interview 
once you register, we will be sending you a step-by-step -step guide of how to book your visa interview and how to fill the DS-160, everything. The DS-160, it's a document that we request a lot, a lot of information from you, a very long form. And it's very, very important to do it very carefully because these informations need to match everything in your interview. So where are you going? When are you going? Your personal information, everything. You need to be totally honest because they do have access to all information and the information needs to match. Many visas are not approved for a mismatch information in the DS-160, okay? There are companies that do this process for you. Uh, maybe your country partner can be helping you. Maybe you can find a company in your country that do that. And if you need, we can indicate one company that can help you with that. Copernicus does not do that. We are just indicating a company that does and had good results for some students. What you will take in the interview is that you need a DS-160 to book the interview. You will have Copernicus invitational letter and you need to take any other document that tie you to your home country. Okay, What the embassy wants to know to give you a US visa is that you have zero intentions of illegally immigrating. So any documents they will ask for uh, your bank statement, they will ask about the parents' job, school registrations, home, family, all information, all documents you have that tie you to your home country. In case your visa is not approved, Copernicus will refund you the registration fee with the exception of a $150 fee. This fee is regarding all the taxes uh, that we have with the receiving the money and sending the money back. Let's go for the optional tours. Many students, many families, many country representatives, they have asked us that students want to spend more time in US and they don't know exactly what to do. So Copernicus has partnered up with two companies uh, that are specialized in this. There are three optional tours that are more educative and four others that are more to have fun. The tours will have no relation with the competition anymore, but you will have students that you met in the competition that maybe they will be your trip colleagues. Okay, so I will go through these tours. All these tours, they will be in the download sections of our website, so you can get all the details there. Option number one, it's a tour in Houston, six extra days that you will be taking an as a camp. There is also the possibility of going to Orlando and taking the NASA camp in Orlando. Very similar, but with the addition of visiting Miami as well, other than Orlando. This is just for fun, Orlando and Miami, visiting Universal Studios, having a helicopter tour. Going to Silicon Valley, seven days, visiting the headquarters of Google. Los Angeles and Las Vegas a six-day tour and New York and Boston a five-day tour going to New York and this one you will be going to the universities in Boston uh, Yale, Harvard and MIT. So the next step is for you to go to our website and register you will be receiving the payment information by email any doubts you have you can contact us through our email as well Thank you so very much for your time and look forward to meet you in Houston in January. Bye-bye.